Katie Hacker is back with us and she has a wonderful project that she wants to show us. What do you have today? Today we're going to talk about graduated strands. Okay. So it's a great way to use these large beads with some smaller spacers in between. It really gives you some depth mm -hmm. and dimension to your piece. Which helps when you're using big beads, That's big and right. bold. big and bold. <laughs> right. So I started with some chalk turquoise beads mm -hmm. and I kind of spaced them evenly across my bead board and then went back and filled in to create some dimension there. I used six millimeter rounds and four millimeter rounds. Okay. And you know when you're working with a beadboard, it's really wonderful because you can see what your piece is going to look like before mm -hmm. you string it. it saves you some it. time. However, sometimes it's hard to see what it's going to look like once you get the metallic in there. Okay. So um, what I do is I like to add those metals as I string. Okay. So this piece is showing with the metal beads in with our chalk turquoise beads and glass okay. beads. So this is so. more a little bit more closer to the finished project. Right. Mm -hmm. So then what I did was same idea with the evenly spaced larger beads and just filling in between. Okay. So I created the three strands and then realized, you know, this piece really needs a pendant. <laughs> and since I hadn't attached the clasp or anything yet, I could uh -huh. go back and add the pendant to the center right. of the last strand. Oh, perfect. And then what's great is you can pick it up and ah, see what the drape is going to look like. Because you have something stopping the beads from falling off. Right. So I actually just pick up each of my strands and have a look. Okay. And I like to do this especially with graduated because you're never really sure how the graduated strands are going to fall once you wear it. Okay. So with your clips you can try it on. Yeah. Looks and beautiful. <laughs> have a look in the mirror or put it on your necklace model. Okay. And then we'll attach our clasp. So once we're sure, right. we'll remove the clip. Mm -hmm. and then you just squeeze the sides together. Okay. Then you're going to pass through your set screw finding and I've already loosened the screw. Okay. See it there on the side. Then I'm going to pass through my guardian and this piece is basically just a protector mm -hmm. for the wire where it meets with the clasp. Okay. So you'll pass it through there Mm -hmm. And then you're going to pass it back through the guardian. And at this point, you want to make sure to attach your clasp. Okay. So it's basically the same idea as if you were crimping. Oh, so you're, you're doing the triple clasp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a slide clasp. Okay. And the slide clasp, um, what's great about it is it lays really nice and flat. Mm -hmm. on the back of the neck or the wrist if you're making a bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, but it does present some design challenges, I feel like, so that's why I like to check the drape. Right. And make sure that my drape is right before I get that clasp going. Okay. So now I'm just going to tighten it up, pull my wire through, mm -hmm. and then do my set screw. And again, just using your miniature screwdriver and tightening that down. Oh. I want to make sure that my wire is nice and tight inside the guardian, and then I'm going to do that for each strand. Okay, on, on, on both, both sides. sides. Right. And then your clasp is removable. Oh. So with the graduated piece, if I decided at some point I don't like all three, three strands, maybe you just want one. Or I two. could take them mm -hmm. apart, mm -hmm. and it'd be very easy and easy to do without ruining the work that is you already did. Is that clasp a better one to use when you have when you're using larger beads that may be heavier? I think it's a really nice and secure, and secure. way. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Because when you're wearing mm -hmm. it, then as you pull, right. you know, it's not possible to exactly. pull this apart because you can slide it. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, you showed us two other, two other examples that you brought with you. Yeah, now these pieces, I just wanted to show you when you're working with the big bold beads mm -hmm. or you're doing a multiple strand piece, again, clipping those ends together before you attach your clasp gives you some more design choices. Mm -hmm. So with a piece with smaller beads, you can actually run your multiple strands through the clip okay. so that you can hold it up and mm -hmm. see what the drape is going to be like before you attach your clasp. Right. And then on a larger piece, you have your big beads and you've got, again, a chance to try it on before you attach the clasp. Yeah, it's perfect. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, finished project that we just created. It's really pretty, lots of different colors and multiple strands. Thank you, Katie, that was fun. You're so welcome. And easy, nice little tips too. We'll be right